Well, well Lisa Gormley, she's a Huon Valley local. She's an actress uh, in, who's been in Home and Away, Rosehaven, The Gloaming, Deadlock. She's a director, casting director. She does it all. <laughs> but she has uh, bought... Uh, Arthur Miller's a view from the bridge, firstly to the Huon Valley, now up to Hobart. We've got Matt and Jason in, and it's going to be awesome. Morning, guys. Oh, morning. There you are. You've already done this one season down the Huon Valley and then both been away and done other things, and now you're coming back again. How are you finding it second time round? Wonderful. Easier? Um, no, no, no. Uh, it would be very easy to sort of coast on on what you do um, as an actor, and and it, it all fits very comfortably within the body. So it's not hard to find the characters again, but to actually do the story justice and to make mm. sure that you're approaching the script truthfully, you've got to kind of forget everything you know and approach it like it's happening again for the very first time. So there's mm. a lot of rediscovery. We've mm. put in a lot of work. Um, you find really so many things, things, hey. Yeah. Second time around, you find so many new discoveries. Oh, I didn't know the character was like this. Yes. You know, yeah. I got quite a shock as her father going to see Matt play the part. I got a bit. Of, I was starting to get a bit involved. You know, <laughs> oh, <laughs> emotional. If Jason keeps picking on him anymore, oh. uh, I'm getting up there. Uh, oh, you don't want to mess no. with Eddie Carbold. Oh, no, look, I loved it. I, I never didn't think I would. For, only forty people in the theatre. It's an old theatre, but it's really atmospheric, cool lighting, mm. lots of, like, comfy couches, chaise lounges, chairs. Mm. It's not your typical theatre. It's really cosy and, and really yep. intimate. You're, you're like, like Lisa said, we're, like, in the lounge room of this family. Well, it's not Brooklyn. your typical play either, though, is it? Because you get met at the door by characters that are in the play. Oh, my God, And, and so Matt's cool. husband, Bevan, mm. is actually playing one of the characters in it and loves it, doesn't he, Matt? Yeah, he, he's the one that will greet you at the door. Yeah. And that's like, he basically gets his own one-act show because at, 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 at the door it's the well, you walked in this morning Matt with your script so obviously yes. you, you're back trying to remember all the lines Yes, yeah. But you have done it before, again. so you should know the lines because it's coming up really <laughs> soon. So I found a part that's got both of you in it. Oh dear. So I'm just going to read a line. I'm Catherine. That's oh, you're Catherine. Okay. Hey, Eddie, what a picture we saw. Did we laugh? Where, where'd you go? Paramount. It was with those two guys, you know, that... Oh, yes. Brooklyn Paramount? Uh, sure, the Brooklyn Paramount. I told you he wasn't going to New York. All right, I only asked you. <laughs> I just don't want to hang around Times Square, see, it's full of tramps over there. Uh, I would like to go to Broadway once, Eddie. <laughs> I would like to walk with her once where the theatres are and the opera. Since I was a boy, I see pictures of those lights. Look, I want to talk to her a minute, Rodolfo. Go inside, will you? Eddie, we only walk together in the streets. She teaches me. <laughs> oh, well done! Oh, wow. <laughs> your turn, Daddy, mate. Gonna, oh, are you going to try your Brooklyn accent? Oh, Brooklyn no. Brooklyn. See if you can deliver that bit of it in your, in a, in your best Brooklyn <laughs> accent. Go on. Then what the hell? <laughs> it's an honour, B, I mean it. I was just thinking before coming home, suppose my father didn't come to this country and I was starving like them over there. And I had people in America and keep me a couple of months, the man would be honoured to lend me a place to sleep. He sounds like he's wow. from Louisiana yeah. or something. Oh, a couple of yeah. thousand miles I away. I just lost my job, okay? <laughs> I don't know if you were very Brooklyn then. <laughs> he wasn't. He was like from Texas, he was a cowboy. The view from the bridge, 8th to the 16th of July. Go and see it. Thanks, guys. See you, guys. Thank you very much.